Well, we will be talking about the illegal migration, if we're talking about it. We have a lot of reasons behind this, of course, whether it is economic reasons or just the young people want to travel, they want to live abroad. It is an international problem in all the countries. Right now, I'll bring you more about it. But first, uh, let me uh, welcome our guest, Dr. Ayman Zohri, head of the Egyptian Society for Migration uh, Studies. Good morning, sir. Good, Good morning, morning, Dr. Ayman. Good morning. Uh, sir, now this is, as Nasha mentioned, it's an international problem, but here in Egypt we've been focusing about Egyptian youth um, um, immigrating, right, from Egypt to other countries like Italy, Greece, and uh, other countries. Uh, tell me the, the, the problem, let's start here in Egypt. Well, actually, um, illegal migration is not uh, an Egyptian problem only, it is an international problem, mm -hmm. and there are many... Uh, hot spots in the in the in the map of the world that US Canada yeah, like US yes. uh, Mexico and, and Africa Europe and and many other countries uh, but the thing is uh, the, the illegal migration in Egypt it's not only a sort of a social problem or an economic problem it's a political problem also it affects the, 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 the relations between Egypt and uh, the other uh, countries especially in Europe mm -hmm. Uh, do you think this is because uh, those migrants, uh, they, when they go to other countries, if they survive at all, <laughs> if, if they manage to, to, to reach other countries, they start creating problems to the countries that they migrated to? No, actually, um, those who succeed to, to, to go there, they are uh, uh, absorbed in the, in the economy of the, the uh, receiving countries, but they think that they are absorbed without any protection. Uh -huh. Yeah. And the other thing that this causes a lot of problems with Egypt in dealing with the, this problem because many people die in, in the go and uh, also they, they pay a lot of money. They are uh, subject to smugglers and subject to human trafficking and many other problems. Mm -hmm. And let's say again that Egypt won't be able to, you know, protect it, uh, our, it, our people because, of course, the, you know, we, they are out of law. But if we're talking about Spain and Italy are among the European countries that suffer from illegal immigration. So how do they uh, deal with this problem, uh, of course, uh, in cooperation with African countries? Well, actually, the, uh, if we take the example of Egypt and Italy, for instance, there are agreements between the two countries to regulate migration as an alternative of irregular migration or illegal migration. And there is a quota of Egyptians that they uh, are permitted to, to, uh, to uh, get into the labor market in Italy. It's uh, 8,000 uh, mm -hmm. per year. It's on the hold now because of the, the uh, economic, uh, world economic crisis, but it will resume back uh, uh, shortly. Uh, so the, the alternative of legal migration is facilitating legal migration. Mm -hmm. Dr. Ayman, in 2009 you participated in a European study uh, on Egyptians immigrating to Italy. What were the findings of your study? Well, actually it was very interesting. It was a sort of uh, qualitative study. So I visited uh, uh, Italy. Actually it was a comparison between Egyptians in Italy and, uh, and, uh, and France. So mm -hmm. I spent uh, some time in, in Italy. and. Uh, I lived with, the, with Egyptian migrants there. I found the successful stories and I found also uh, many uh, good examples of Egyptians there. And uh, to, maybe to your surprise, I found successful stories uh, among irregular migrants as well. Mm -hmm. So wow. the, the, the thing is the, the, the uh, economy, the, the Italian economy is somewhat similar to the Egyptian economy to, uh, in the fact that uh, about 40% of the Italian economy is informal. So this informal economy absorbs uh, irregular migrants more than the regular migrants or uh, legal migrants. Mm -hmm. Doctor, what are the measures taken by the European Union to combat illegal migration? Well, uh, actually, uh, it, it, is, it is a sort of frustration in Europe regarding this uh, illegal migration simply because there is a contradiction between the economy and policies. Always policies and politicians use it as a card in their elections and such things. But the, 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 the fact on the land that the economy welcomes such cheap labor. Mm -hmm. And this is the problem, the contradiction between the economy and, and uh, the policies. So I think I believe that the... the, the uh, to combat illegal migration should facilitate legal migration to, to, to find supply of cheap labor. Okay, you were just telling us a few minutes ago that you uh, went to Italy and France and you lived with the uh, uh, yes. immigrants there yeah. and you actually, you saw the stories yourself. Yeah. How did you find the, the lives of Egyptian uh, immigrants 
with the societies that they moved to? Well, uh, when you go there, there are established migrants who migrated before the, the, the current stream of illegal migration that started recently, actually, about 10 years ago. But the established migrants they are fully integrated in the society. They are not assimilated. Uh, I mean that they keep their identity, they keep their Egyptian norms and tradition, but at the same time, they are fully integrated in the society. And the second, the second stream of migration, which is illegal migrants, actually, they live like internal migrants to Cairo. They live in, in uh, crowded houses, of course. They live, they, most of them are uh, uh, singles. Uh, the most, uh, com uh, actually, 100% of them are males. So they live as if they are workers moving, for instance, from Sohag to Cairo. Mm -hmm. You are talking about the, the legal, right? No, I'm talking about the illegal. The illegal. The illegal. Yeah. The so legal, they are established and they, they, have, they, they enjoy all the rights. But the illegal people, they look like the, the construction workers in, in uh, suburb Cairo. Mm -hmm. So yes. the, the, the most important thing to them is to work and to save money. That's it. Yeah. Okay, well, Dr. Ayman Zohri, head of the uh, Egyptian Society for uh, Migration Studies, thank you very much for being with us this morning. Thank you. Thank you, Doctor. Well, right now, let's move on to entertainment, Rod. We have this uh, entertainment uh, item to bring you more about it. We'll be back right after this. <laughs> 